In 2007, Dublin Midwest was first off the mark to have a TD hit the quota, Fianna Fáil's John Curran. But this time the government chief whip may find it difficult to keep the seat. The Greens' Paul Gogarty and Labour's Joanna Tuffy are also battling to retain their seat, with a fourth seat up for grabs after the retirement of Mary Harney. It's every man and woman for themselves here, with Fine Gael also in the race with Senator Francis Fitzgerald and Councillor Derek Keating. Councillor Robert Dowds is the second name on the Labour ticket while Sinn Féin are running Owen O'Brien. The United Left Alliance have two candidates, Rob Connolly from the Socialist Party and Councillor Gino Kenny from the People Before Profit Alliance, with the Workers' Party President Mick Finnegan also running. There are four independent voices, Colin McGrath, Niall Smith, Michael Ryan and Jim McHale. Dublin Midwest stretches from Rathcool and Sangert over to Newcastle, Lucan, Clondalk and Palmerstown and Quarry Vale. A large number of people who live here bought their homes during the boom and are now in negative equity. But the main issue is crime and antisocial behaviour. The area has seen a number of high-profile gangland murders, the most recent in broad daylight in Neilstown. Over 64,000 people can vote here and it's all to play for. For the 14 people hoping to get your number one vote on Friday, I'm Maria Shannon for 98FM News.